this will be the last video. I want you to to work on page twenty. I want you to spend a little bit of time on the warm up trying to pair um, the expanded logs or just kind of find the equivalent forms. Um, but as you're doing that, I also want to remind you or tell you, write down any questions you have from today and we'll pick up from them. And that's where we'll start in class the next day. Um, so uh, hopefully you pause the video, work on this, and then we'll get started. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, so if you are adding logs, remember that means you get to multiply them together inside to get log of 24. Uh, so this is 1. Hey, if you got log with the same base as the input, that's always equal to 1. Right. Um, we'll skip that one for now. I don't think it's as obvious. Um, before dividing, hey, boom, that's just log of 6 minus log of 4. Here we go, four, I'm gonna bring it out in front. Boom, log base 10 and 10. Cancel out, I'm left over with just four. <clears throat> it's a little bit harder to tell here, um, but this is when there's no base in the log, right? Those are the same, or uh, sorry, it's automatically assumed to be base 10. So 10 to the log base 10, those cancel each other out. It's just gonna be 24. Here we go, 4 in the exponent, we're going to bring that out in front, 4 times log of 6. So it's there. And then, I've seen this one before, anything to, this, to the input of 1, that's just always 0. Which means that 3 must be A, but if we want an extra step just to see how or why, I'm going to rewrite this as a log of 24 to the negative 1. Remembering that a negative exponent moves uh, that input into the denominator. I could then bring this negative 1 out in front. So negative 1 log of 24, which is right here. So those are all those ones. All right. Um, I think these are just more expanding and contracting. Um, So we could go here, go ahead, hey, I'm subtracting log. So log of y is going to equal log of x over c. Since they're inputs and they have the same base, those logs should basically cancel out. y equals x over 6. And there you go. Oh, not 6, sorry, this is c. Yeah. All right, we're going to do the same thing with number two. ln of y is equal to, well, hey, I'm just adding all these up. So that's going to be ln of x times x minus 1 times c. So um, let me clean that up. ln of y is equal to ln of x squared minus x times c. So that is cx squared minus cx, boom, ln and ln, we just set the insides equal to each other. So, no ln there. So y equals c times x squared minus xc. Um. <clears throat> cool. um, so if you're good, you can stop there. If you want a little bit of an extension, we'll go over this formula right here. If you don't, I don't think it ever falls on the test. Um, most of the time, your, your new calculators will do this automatically. Um, but if not, here is a little extension for you. <clears throat> All it means is 
um, another way you could write this log, log base 5 of 18. Some of you, sometimes your calculator won't allow you to put in a 5 down here, so you can't really evaluate this. Um, but one of the rules is, or change base formula, you can come up with a generic base. You could change, change this base of a log from 5. It would be log, we'll just call it A for right now, A of the input over log base A of 5. All right. Um, now, again, that A could be anything. To help you on your calculator, most of the time, the common log is base 10. So you could just rewrite this as log of 18 over log of 5. All right, what I mean by that is here, if we go into my calculator, right here is just my log button. That's my log. log of 18 divided by, ooh, let's close this parentheses divided by log of 5. Comes out to that number. Now, some of them, if you go into the math function and you scroll down, there is a log base button where I could put in 5 and 18. And they are the same number. Now, the thing is, not everyone has this function. So if you don't and you need to evaluate, you can put in there. Um, sorry. All right, so change base from the same thing here. We could change this base uh, log of 15 over log of a half. Up to you. Um, so just another little easy way to put it into your calculator. All right, but like I said, write down any questions you have. We will start with just going through examples next time I'm in there with you. All right, have a good one.